Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Jay, and we're going to continue Legacy of the Void. Let's see what Vorazun has to say. Shakuras is gone. It has become one with the Eternal Night. But the traditions we forged there will remain with us forever. Is that still possible, Matriarch? More so than you may realize. What do you know of the Shadow Walk, Artanis? Little. Your people closely guard their customs. It is our most sacred rite of passage. The Initiate stands alone. Members of her tribe strike against her from the shadows. If she endures, she becomes a Shadow Hunter, true Dark Templar. Why do you speak of this? You stood alone as Dark Templar against countless enemies, risking your life for the many. You have walked as we have. You have walked the Shadow Path already, Artanis. You no longer have the Kala. You are Dark Templar. Uh, let's check our War Council. We don't have anything on the Assemble panel, but Rorana has stuff to say. The Merazine fought valiantly beside us, even unto the destruction of their world. Why? Their homeworld has always been Ire. They have never forgotten it, or the sacrifice that delivered them to safety. You speak of Adun. So saith Judicator Zempion. Adun failed to eradicate the rogue tribes, those who call themselves the Dark Templar. We witnessed the burst of the Twilight Star. In that treasonous instant, Adun ushered the heretics and himself to fate. Purifying ire of their taint, but allowing them life. Treason? A dune chose mercy rather than committing genocide. This was a noble act, Preserver. Was it? I see history through the eyes of those who lived it, Artanis. Perhaps this is why you are blind to all that is before you. History's truths are only ever understood looking through the backwards lens, seeing its consequences take root. As a preserver, I have always experienced history as a living, breathing now, as those who experienced it in the moment did. Perhaps I should consider the way you view it. Alright, uh, Solar Core. So oh, solar. Solar Core. Uh, just gonna increase those. I think we're fine with this. An Ardeen Shakuris. Shakuris has fallen, and Amon's grip tightens. If we are to stand against him, we will need more than warriors. As Hierarch, I was made aware of a location where our Kalai scientists experimented on new weaponry in secret. Within the Glacius facility, the Purifier program has been reborn. We must recover this immensely powerful technology. All right, let's go recover some purifier tech. Glacius facility. Within lies the greatest weaponry the Empire ever developed. It is the site of the purifier revival program. Purifiers, the forbidden weapon. They were sealed away by the Conclave, never to be restored. The ancient purifiers are not kept here, Preserver. They are still locked away. Here, on Glacius, our researchers have been developing prototype weaponry inspired by that ancient technology. You speak above your caste, Kalai. This is unimaginable heresy. We are outmatched by Amon's forces and facing annihilation. If this technology may help us, we will use it. Whoa, we're tanks. Putting his foot down there. All right. A giant spaceship. Apparently, Amon can't find a giant spaceship about the size of a planet. Oh, I love the other room. Dream. Here, they are attacking the facility. Amon has unleashed his servants. Ready, our warriors. All right, let's go deal with the Taldarim and free the purifiers. Any conversation? Yep, Rowan has stuff to say. The Taldarim. They have not been seen since the Aeon of Strife, before the Protoss were united by the Kala's Light. I'm afraid they returned some time ago, Rohana. We thought 
called them fanatical servants of the Zelnaga for years, but in truth, they had enslaved themselves to Amon. Why would any being willingly follow Amon? That is unclear. The Tal'Darim call themselves the Chosen. What Amon has chosen them for, we do not know. They are dangerous foes who have helped forge the hybrid and shed blood in the name of our great enemy. Protoss turned upon Protoss. The Deul demands retribution for such offense. They must be destroyed. If it is their fate, it shall be. Man, Rana. Rowano, really quick to jump the gun on executing people. The purifier weaponry that has been researched here could prove to be a valuable addition to our arsenal. That is what I am hoping. Is there any merit to Rohana's fears? The Kalai on Glacius have prototyped the technology with successful results. It is said that these experimentations are no different than the Templar they are replications of. A byproduct of quantum predictive analytics. They were and are still only machines. Do not give them such credence, Karax. We too are machines of a biological nature. I often marvel at the architecture, the design, the careful construction of our form, our machinery. The Zelnaga forged us as we forged the original purifiers. Karras got real philosophical on that one. Uh, let's go to the bridge. Many of my Dark Templar have volunteered to act as scouts for us. They will keep us aware of Amon's movements. All right, let's uh do what our mission is. See if we can get any achievements while we're at it. If we are to obtain the purifier technology, then we must move quickly. The Tal'Darim are preparing to fire upon the facility. Well, I got all the achievements apparently on on the first time I played through this, so let's just have fun with this mission. Oh, that's pretty cool. The little uh, what are these phase cannons, ion cannons? In the purifier facility. Ah, <laughs> uh, I would really love some Tal'Darim skins. I think that red and black really just complement each other. Hierarch, the Tal'Darim are unleashing their mothership's phase displacement beam against Glacius's orbital defenses. I am First Descendant Alarak, and I've been charged with destroying this facility. You seek the technology vault, but you are too late. It will be annihilated along with the rest of this pathetic world. Use your time to withdraw from the system, or remain here, and watch your forces burn to ash. I care little which you choose. He is not entirely correct. If we begin now, our forces could outpace the displacement beam. Then we are going in. I love Alarak. I don't know why they always give us such little uh, resources to start with. The displacement beam is advancing. We must reach the vault before it is destroyed. Ooh, let me check because I'm very paranoid on my game speed. Since I went like an entire campaign of uh. Gas. Really? I need gas? Okay, whatever. Let's get a Zealot then. I went most of Wings of Liberty checking, constantly checking to see if if we had the fastest game speed. I don't know why I'm losing my train of thought here. I am detecting a Tal'Darine force amassing That's so cool. outside That's of our Nexus Point. We must prepare for assault. Wait, these sentries were left behind. Let me activate them. Let's They're just put two on gas for now. Shields to nearby warriors. It's gonna be extremely useful. Uh, let's get a few pylons. There. Our gateways are now calibrated to warp them in as well. Throw an extra one on the gas. Let's move out with this for a little bit. See what we can find. 
uh, get more probes. Just barely made it through that while taking a bunch of damage on that zealot. Get more gateways. I'm gonna totally need more gateways. Who is not in a. Did you take physical damage? No, no, you didn't. You were just recharging your shields. Need more dragoons. That's what I'm gonna need. You have a photon cannon there. Let's get. Can I get a robotics facility yet? But I can get a dark shrine. It's always fun to play with. Always fun to play with Dark Templar. Uh, get some more of you. Let's get three of you. Put you here. Break that. Can we keep pushing forward? Yes, we can. I'm gonna throw that down there. Get more stuff. And that pylon call down is uh, very useful. It appears the station scientists were storing raw solarite here as well. Give me the solarite. Back up. Back up. Excellent. Solarite gathered. Our forces are near the displacement beam. We must remain alert and stay out of its range. Yeah, yeah. Well, my zealots are running in like crazy. So let's actually. Whoa, where did you guys come from? Uh, let's keep these guys here. We need to destroy its power source to clear the way. Oh, I need double forges. And let's get some robotics facilities. Or just a single robotics facility, that's fine. Drop a pylon here. Give me more zealots. How do I break this? Do I have to go around? We discovered more sentries. I will activate them now. Okay. Let me throw down some photon cannons, cause that that attack took me by surprise. And let's leave our DTs right there. How do I destroy the thingy? That's a very good question. Where do I go to blow this up? Uh, let's get you. Maybe I have to swing around. Oh, what I will do... Queue up some upgrades. Go here. Put that there. I have the minerals. The reason I'm not using uh, orbital strikes is because I want to save up that uh, that energy for for the pylon. That opened up. What is the stasis chamber? What's in the stasis chamber? Let's get another robotics facility. What's over here? Maybe there's a second base? Yes, there is. 
let's get rid of this pylon. I literally just told myself I wasn't going to do that. Because I needed the energy for... For what's it called? For the pylon. I'm hovering a ton of resources. And I'm kind of behind on the giant laser beam of death. Can I, do I have room for more gateways, please? Uh, you over here. Throw me down the pylon. What's over here? Blow this up. This is not going well. Okay, get some of those. Let's get some more of you. I need more these guys. This is probably extremely unnecessary. This is extremely unnecessary. It might mess up on this mission if I don't pick up the pace. Let's play out. Find raw solar rain. Let's build a nexus. Pylon, pylon. Let's build more zealots. Let's throw this here. Bringing nearby centuries online. Break that down. Did I not throw down a pylon over there? Where is it? Where's my pylon? Whatever, I'll throw it down here. Uh, what I will do is grab that, grab that, grab that. Build some probes. You are gonna throw me a photon cannon. I haven't found the other solar rain. Very well. Releasing centuries from stasis. Hyrock, I'm detecting movement from the Taldarine fleet. Multiple transport signatures inbound on the facility. Warp prisms. Clever. 
Alarak is activating the facility's old defenses, using them against us. I don't even know where I'm at. Need more zealots. I'm running kind of low on units. Another solarite sample obtained. They're getting kind of close if I can survive with this. Just blow that up. Please blow it up. Please blow it up. There we go. Need a new pylon. There we go. Now I can just get a ton of these. I walk the shadowed That it? I'm missing a solar right thingy. It's probably over there. I'm gonna build. I'm not gonna build anything. Give me some DTs. I am the blade from the shadows. So it's probably over here. Uh, that's gonna move very slowly. Ah, I'm gonna keep focusing on my macro. Come on, come on, DTs. There we go. We have acquired all of the raw solarite samples. They are still in superb condition. You should see them. Ah, we got the bonus and the the ejector. Acquiring access. Be it barely. Work quickly, Faye Smith. Focus the disruptor on their location. Let them burn. I have its coordinates. Warping aboard the container now. You are not as weak as you appear, Artanis. We shall meet again. The purifier weaponry is safely aboard the Spear of Adun. Wait, there is a prototype warrior here as well. I will have to examine it more closely. Uh, I lost no one to the be beam. What is this? Destroy six gateways. How many gateways did we destroy? We destroyed eight. So we would have done this regardless. Now that, that's an MLG status right there. Uh, let's see where it leaves us off. You wish to see me, Faith Smith. Artanis, it is good to see you, young executor. Phoenix, how... how can this be? It was his cloned personality that was used for the purifier prototype. Given your friendship with the source personality, I thought... well... he believes he was brought from Stasis and made a Dragoon. I was given a directive by Altaurus himself to come to Glacius and serve the Templar. It is the last recollection from his memory web. The Great Templar were still encoded by order of the Conclave. Do you know about the experimentation done on Glacius? Why Aldaris gave you this order? I am a warrior, old friend. You know this as well as any. It is not my place to question the order of Adjudicator. This construction is highly advanced. 
an adanium shell composed of a trillic compression mesh. It appears he was to be the first in a revival of the ancient program. Enough! I have fought far too long for the will of the Conclave to be examined like some specimen. I am Templar, and I am reunited with the dearest of friends. Is this not a glorious day? You are right, of course. Carax, these tests are no longer needed. Phoenix, welcome aboard the Spear of a Doom. Oh man, good old Phoenix. Uh, so I'm actually gonna end it there are here. Personnel awaiting your review in War Council hierarchy. I'm gonna hear folks, you know the drill, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification button so you know when I put a video. Links are in the description for my Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch, and I'll see you guys next time.